One of the prominent questions that most likely every scientist who studies some aspect of climate change gets, probably from a general audience who may be trying to understand, most likely goes a little something like this. Why is this important? Why should I care about climate change? As a researcher who studies birds, I'm always expecting to get asked the question, well, why birds? And why study how climate change is impacting them? My name is Lauren D. Farr, and I am a PhD student in the Fisheries, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology program at North Carolina State University. I'm an avian ecologist, and my work specifically focuses on understanding how climate change may be impacting avian behavioral responses. Changes in the way that birds are interacting with their habitat to certain changes in their reproduction habits or productivity all fall under this broad definition of avian behavioral responses. The species that I am currently studying is the federally endangered red cockaded woodpecker, also known as the RCW because it's a whole lot easier to say. This species is reliant on old and second growth pines for nesting, and it thrives out here in the longleaf pine ecosystem. Its preference for longleaf pine resulted in drastic RCW population declines as nearly 90 million acres of virgin longleaf pine was logged, converted, and developed since European settlement in North America. Historical population estimates for the RCW were around 1 million individuals, which had dripped previously low to about less than 10,000 individuals by the mid-1900s. The RCW was one of the first species listed as endangered in 1968 and then protected in 1973 under the Endangered Species Act. Today, current population estimates are between 18 and 19,000 individuals, and recent gains are attributed to intensive management of nesting and foraging habitat by wildlife biologists and land managers. The use of prescribed fire, while playing a critical role in maintaining healthy and diverse longleaf pine ecosystems, has greatly aided in RCW population recovery. Now, I could go into so much detail about this species, their cooperative breeding system, their hierarchies, and even them being the only species to make their cavities in living pine trees. But today I want to focus on one thing, and that's climate change. Some RCW populations are experiencing the blows that a changing climate is bringing, from changing temperatures to extreme weather events, particularly the trees along the coast. As a result, 63 out of 124 known RCW populations are vulnerable to hurricanes, according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, with 56 of those populations having low or very low ability to withstand environmental or demographic changes. Additionally, over the past two years, RCW populations in the Sandhills, Fort Bragg, and coastal Florida have been experiencing a brood reduction or a decrease in the number of nestlings, which usually occurs due to a lack of resources. We continue to develop many hypotheses about why RCWs are experiencing brood reduction, including factors relating to climate change, like the timing of the arrival of certain food sources and overcrowding of RCWs in some areas. I will be testing these multiple hypotheses and collecting additional data, as well as assessing a 40-year high-quality data set in search of answers that will inform better outcomes for this species. So my answer to that question, well, why birds and why study how climate change is impacting them, is this. By continuing to study both the direct and indirect effects of climate change on various bird species, researchers like me have the opportunity to continue to make new discoveries that managers and other organizations can use to make continuous efforts when it comes to bird conservation. Myself and the next generation of scientists have made studying the impacts of climate change our career and we will continue to work hard to show how various species are reacting to these rapid changes.